Today we are at Texas Tiny Cabins and we got a great view. There's six tiny houses here, so you're definitely gonna have one available if you ever wanna come check these out yourself. These are awesome tiny houses. It's really windy outside right now. Let's just, let's go check them out. Located in Denison, Texas, these are actually by the same hosts as the last two videos we've shown the other tiny houses. And this one is on 40 acres of property. You have beautiful views of downtown Denison, which is only like four or five minutes away, but you are secluded and private from everybody else. There are six tiny houses on this property, so you will be sharing it with other people. So you can bring some friends or you can come alone. And even if you don't want to interact with anybody, you don't have to at all, because when you're in your tiny house you can't see anybody but we'll get to that in a second you pull up on your property plenty of parking to choose from and they have a beautiful walking path to all of your cabins and as you walk down the path there's picnic tables there's hammocks everywhere a couple tree swings and this is just a nice property to be on and it feels really luxurious and then you walk down i was at number five which is almost at the end and you walk down your path and then you're on your front porch area and this is where you can overlook the property there is a couple ponds down there and this is just a beautiful view up on the porch you have a seating area with a fire pit on the other side you got a dining table and a swinging chair and this is just an awesome tiny house it looks huge because the ceilings are super tall and they're really large overhang for the patio space this just feels huge you have wood beams everywhere wood cladding it just looks incredible as well but anyway let's walk inside and see what inside the tiny house has to offer it's super windy today but you walk inside and this space feels huge you can look all around me that goes way back the ceilings up above i mean this is just a huge tiny house in quotations but the layout is a pretty nice one. So the first thing you really walk into is your living room space. <sighs> this is definitely a spacious living room. You have a leather couch up against this wall with a huge window right above it, beautiful dining table. And then you have your TV on this left side. It is huge. <laughs> this TV can swivel out. If you remember last week's episodes, those TVs were huge in those tiny houses. And it's the same here. So it is true. Everything is bigger in Texas. <laughs> but you can sit here. If you don't want to watch the TV, you can even look outside through the huge front windows. These are actually sliding doors. And they all slide open. So you can slide open this triple door. And you have access to your outdoor area. Especially in the warmer months this is awesome and even if they're closed you got great views of downtown you can even see one of the churches down there that stick up above the city line it is pretty cool and you can even close these windows with all of these curtains that are available to you as well which is really nice Next is the kitchen space. This is a huge kitchen for a tiny house. On this right side is this gigantic countertop with bar seating on the other side, four seats total. And the countertop is beautiful. You got the range right here in the middle. Cabinets on this other side for you to use. And then on the other side, more cabinets, beautiful tiling with some open shelves up above this. You have your fridge on this right hand side and even a dishwasher over here. But you also have a washer and dryer all the way on this left side, which is awesome that they can provide that at this Airbnb. I mean, this is just a spacious kitchen. You can walk in and out of it. The microwave is hidden, which I love. The ship flap all around here definitely has a farmhouse feel but with the other amenities it's more modern farmhouse i would say the wood cladding on the ceiling is one of my favorites it looks beautiful mixed in with the white shiplap on the walls i love it my favorite part of this kitchen though is the coffee station i always point that out everywhere i go but you open up the shelf pull this out and your coffee is all right here on this platform the keurig all of your coffee and then everything you would need if you like to put stuff in your coffee this is so cool. It slides in and out. Easy access. <laughs> And now if we walk to the other side of this cabin, this is where your rooms are at. The first room over here on the right side is your bedroom area. This is a queen bed in here. The shiplap continues. The wood cladding on the ceiling also continues. You also have this window right here for some great views when you wake up or you can close the blinds if you need to. The bed is on this floating platform. There is 
storage underneath it or you can do what i did and just store my stuff over here it's kind of messy at the moment because i slept here last night but you can lay here and the best part is the huge tv right at the foot of the bed down here this tv is the same size as all the other ones and it feels like you're in a movie theater whenever you are in here watching tv laying in bed and another good part about this bedroom is the fan in the corner you can just pull the string and the fan goes on so if you're like me i like my fan whenever i'm sleeping so it is awesome it is up there in the corner for you to use this is a great bedroom i like it a lot There's also a bedroom loft above this one up there. The ladder is right here next to the door. You can take the ladder down, put it up, and see what's up there in the loft. Up here in the loft is just a bed. This is a pretty tight loft, but it is here if you need it. So this place can sleep for guests. That's why there's four bar seats in the kitchen, and there's even a window up here as well in the loft. The last spot of this tiny house is behind this door. What do you think it is? No, it's not the bathroom actually. I'm just kidding. It is the bathroom space. You've got to have a bathroom in the tiny house. In here, it is a very spacious bathroom. Vanity on the left, toilet in the middle, and then your tiled shower over here in the back space. White subway tile with a black grout. You can't go wrong with that. Fits in with the more modern farmhouse style aesthetic of this tiny house. And the shower head is a waterfall shower head right in the middle of the ceiling. And I love that a lot. Or you have this nozzle on this right side to use. So that is everything with this tiny house. What do you guys think of it? In downtown Denison, there's a lot to do on the main street right here. Some of the streets are brick, which is really pretty, but you got shopping and buildings on the left and right side that go all the way down for a pretty long while. There's antique shops to visit, plenty of restaurants and coffee shops. I liked 410 Collective. They have shops inside of their coffee shop so that is really fun to check out or blackbird cafe they had great food i got the chicken salad with the potato soup and a great atmosphere or if you're coming for lake texoma this is definitely the spot to come hang out that's only like 15 minutes away i believe so great area great tiny house definitely one if you don't like the tiny house feeling but you do want to come check out a tiny house this is a great one, especially for the price point as well. Very nice host. So if you want to check this place out, the link is down in the description to book it. And as always, I'll see you next week with another Airbnb tour.